tribe welcome welcome to sarita's intuitive love guidance my name is sarah and i'm going to be doing the daily divine masculine check see how the masculine is currently feeling i also want to let you know that i am now offering phone call readings far as for spiritual guidance i have done it for a few people but i'm now just going to just kind of put it out there for anybody who wants to have that type of service i've been feeling very guided to do that and so it is for something maybe you're you're lacking some kind of clarity confirmation and closure regarding something and so i just want to be a person here to help you know navigate through those feelings and emotions and kind of try to provide you some kind of clarity and tools along the way and so yeah i just want to <clears throat> Put it out there it's going to be in my community tab for the detail so let's see what's going on with the masculines today see what is going on with their emotions on how they're feeling towards you divine femmes what is divine masculine's major emotions towards divine femmes they are worried we did get this energy I think two days ago i'm not quite sure but your mask is still a little confused baffled perplexed about a situation do know we are in mercury retrograde and so exes are going to want to come back and message you text you call you because all of our emotions are coming to the surface during mercury retrograde so it's purging time and so maybe you message your masculine about something and it could leave them puzzled and confused about a situation. So be mindful of Mercury retrograde, everyone. You may feel inclined more to want to say something to your masculine. So be mindful of your intentions of why you're reaching out. And do know that when your masculines do reach out to you, be mindful of their own intentions too. There are some memories that are coming to the surface because of Mercury retrograde. Um, so yeah. Your masculine is kind of scratching their head on something, a little upset, anxious, worried about a situation. Um, I'm not quite sure how that will resonate for you, but do know if they how they're feeling. They're a little confused about a situation with you. Anxious, worried. I don't know if there's some upset energy here that maybe you and your masculine was talking about something. Maybe they're upset that they haven't heard from you or vice versa. Let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines today. Yang, so there's an energy here wanting to give to you about something. Uh, they're wanting to give. There's some fire that they have for you. And so now they're in an energy of wanting to give. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else is going on? Chop wood. <clears throat> So this is an energy of trying to clear things up, trying to clean up shop because there's a broom here, mop. So they're definitely trying to clean things up with you. So Divine Femmes, if you hear from your masculines, they may want to come back and want to give to this relationship. But I do feel like with the chop wood energy here, they're either trying to clean up things with you or they still have to clean up some things in their past or what they're currently dealing with that they may not know how. One more energy of how the Divine Masculine is feeling. No place like home. So they miss you, Divine Femmes. They feel like you are home. They're wanting a new start, wanting a new life. I feel like they're feeling more called and pulled towards you, Divine Femmes, and just... Just so you know, it's obviously Mercury retrograde. And so there is going to be some strong emotions, past issues, past hurt that's going to come to the surface that I feel like your masculine is going to want to clean up, talk about. You may feel the same way because you're going to be mirroring each other's energy. So there's definitely some fresh new start here that you're wanting And you feel like, I feel like some of you are feeling more compassion and forgiveness towards your masculine. So let's see what else is going on with how Divine Masculine is feeling towards Divine Femmes. It's 
So we have a feminine energy here, strong-willed, doing it my way. And that's the thing. Um, your masculine is maybe in an energy of the emperor energy, wanting to take lead, wanting to take charge, but maybe a little bit too much on on their selfish needs of not wanting to bend, not wanting to be flexible in certain situations, very strong will, could be very stubborn. And if you are not hearing from your masculines, they're just very strong willed. They're, they have a willpower of knowing how to not open up their emotions, not expressing it, not, they could be very, um, what's the word that I want to say? Um, I can't even think of the word, but they could definitely be in an energy of stubborn. That's the word I wanted to say, stubborn. Let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines. Nine of Swords. So definitely in their thoughts, Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Depths of Despair. And I, I, that's what I'm saying. I feel like your masculine is really stuck in their thoughts. Still stuck in the despair of past hurt, past issues. So if you reached out to your divine masculines, they may not be in a space too ready to iron things out. I feel like they're still stuck in doing things their own way. Not sure how to confront the situation. I also feel they have a lot of love for you. They want to give, but they're still stuck in the despair energy. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine? Focus. So we have Seven of Cups in reverse. So it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They are very focused. Clarity of knowing. So... I, I feel like they they know what they want, but they don't know how to get that, Divine Femmes. I feel like with the lovers in reverse, there's disharmony, misaligned values, and y'all are not seeing eye to eye. I feel like some of you Divine Femmes are just too, like, very ascended, has done a lot of growth, did a lot of work on self. And the masculine is not quite up to to par with the growth the growth chart. It's like you're up here, divine femmes, and your masculines are down here. You know, it's still misaligned. It's not y'all are not aligned in your morals and values or, or whatever you are wanting currently. Some of these masculines are not in the energy of able to to commit because maybe a third party, or maybe they're just allowing fear, doubt, and worry hold them back from fully giving to you. And I think that's the energy of chop wood. They need to release that. They need to let go of past hurt. They need to clean that up because they want to come home. Home could be an actual home or you, your soul coming towards you because y'all are as one. That's home. But I feel it has to be their way. And you can't back them in a corner. You can't tell them what you want in this relationship or what you will stand for um it's a, something that you're going to have to allow it to be organic getting to know each other you know extending that olive branch out um it's going to start with you spirit just said see the hermit energy spiritual mastery so it could be a virgo energy so let's see what the Divine Masculine shadows are. What else is going on with the Divine Masculine? What's going on with the Divine Masculine shadows? I don't need your approval. And that's the thing, Divine Femmes. Be mindful of Mercury retrograde, of telling them about themselves, of whatever it is you know sometimes we feel inclined to tell people um why they hurt us what this is this and this and this your masculine shadow is they don't want your approval they don't want to be told what's wrong what happened um they're just in an energy of needing some healing needing some love 
some grace and forgiveness. Do not bring up the past because it's going to cause more despair. What else is going on? And that's the chop wood. Your master is like, I just want to let it go. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. I love myself enough to walk away. And that's the thing. They're, they're strong-willed. They're strong-willed. When they feel this, it makes them want to push further away. Um, and it, it makes them upset. It definitely puzzles them. It baffles them. And so if you're feeling... And they're knowing you're watching them. And so my thing is they can be very selfish. Can be very, very selfish with the doing it my way. That that's the shadow energy. That's something that they have to work on and heal. That's not a rejection to you, Divine Femmes. Don't feel like it's a rejection. But when you feel the need to tell them about themselves, how they hurt you, they will walk away. They will push you away. Not because they don't love you, but because it triggers them. It triggers them. And it's a shadow that they have to heal. You can't come where I'm going. And this is an energy of your masculine knows that they have things to work on. And they are not up to par. If they, If you come towards your masculine and try to help them or try to fix them or change them you're lowering your standards you're lowering your standards and your worth because they know you are still working on yourself they know that there are things here that they don't want to pull you down they, they lack the confidence the worthiness that I feel like this is a shadow energy, guys. So they may not quite tell you this, but their actions are going to show it. Their words may be hurtful. And it may seem like they don't care. Because divine masks will push away. They will say hurtful things. They will deflect. They will run. They will block you. They will do a lot of things that may show you that they don't care. They may ghost you, but that is a shadow energy. So Divine Femmes, do not take that as a rejection. It's something that they have to heal. Something that they have to release out into the universe and clean up. Clean up. One more energy. I hope you're happy for me. And I told you, see, they pretend like they don't care. They pretend that they, that they, they don't care. And they want you to be proud of them. They want you to be happy for them. Some of these masculines love to mask it. Pretend, put on an illusion, like uh, that everything is calm, cool, and collective. But that's just all an illusion. So let's put that in the middle. So what else is going on with the Divine masculines on how they're feeling towards Divine Femmes? They're in stuck energy. And see, that's the thing, guys. They could be stuck in their current situation, stagnant, and whatever's holding them back from you, Divine Femmes. But that is a victim mentality. That's a limiting belief. They allow their fear, doubt, worry, um, their pride, their ego, get in the way of, of coming towards you. This is what they need to clean up, that victim mentality. Feeling stuck. Oh, woe is me. I can never leave a current situation. I'm I'm unworthy. I'm just going to stay in stagnant energy. But that's because they're tied and down. Some of these masculines could be stuck in bed, depressed, saddened. And they're like broken into pieces. They're definitely um, needing some healing. They're needing some healing. They need to put the pieces back together for themselves. And I feel like some of it is they're, they're missing that heart healing that is allowing them to come forward. And it could be dealing with inner child wounds, trauma from past relationships, um, past hurt that has not been healed. Maybe you took a piece of their heart and you're not, you know, like they just feel unworthy. I'm not quite sure. 
but they pretend like they don't care to buy films. They do. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? The reclusive fool. Step away from the world and seek solitude. Getting the Virgo energy. So that's the thing, guys. Number three here. I, I do feel like they think about you, Divine Femmes. But they're, they're in a reclusive energy. Holding back. Reserved. You are their wish fulfillment. They see it. But the, this guy's eyes is closed. Because they're so focused on themselves and their own feelings that they don't see that they can get this wish with you. Some of these masculines are obviously just staying at home, not doing anything in a, a very depressed, emotional state. They, if they're in a third party situation, they're in an isolation, pushing, pushing whoever they're with away. Your mask is in an energy of contemplating a wish with you, Divine Femmes. But they're not taking action as of yet. Because I just feel like they're still in that strong-willed, prideful, egotistical energy that they're not in harmony with themselves. And so, therefore, they're not in harmony with you. See what um, their confessions are to divine femmes. What is divine masculine's confessions towards divine femmes? I just don't want my family to think I'm a bad guy and regret. So maybe some of these masculines are staying in a third party situation because they have kids. Maybe they're married. Maybe they don't want to go through a divorce because. They don't want to let their family down. Could be a number or numerous things. But whatever it is, your masculine definitely has regrets and is scared to take action. What else is going on with Divine Masculine's confessions towards Divine Femmes? Emotional abuse and broken glass. And that's that fragment energy. Your masculine's still broken. He needs to heal. She needs to heal. Dealing with a lot of emotional abuse from past relationships, past hurt. Um, your masculine could be um, saying things emotionally that is triggering. Could say mean, hurtful things that they don't mean. What else is going on? What confessions does a lot of masculines have? I just lack self-worth. I didn't feel worthy of you. And I told you that. They don't feel worthy. Thank you, spirit. I don't like to be vulnerable, so they don't like to express emotions. So they hold back with this reclusive fool. They hold back. And they become prideful from expressing emotions towards you. They rather um, rather ghost you. They rather not speak up. They rather text you random things and not just say how they truly feel. Let's see what else is going on with the Divine Masculines, or the, or how they're feeling towards Divine Femmes. Narcissism. So, you know, some of these Masculines have narcissistic tendencies. Manipulation, control, infidelity, disregards boundaries, egocentric, entitlement, selfish, rule breaker. You know, they can deflect on you saying this is all your fault. Telling you your wrongs and not accepting their own wrongs. Um, narcissists love to be in control of the situation. They're very egotistical. They, you know, could cheat a lot. Be very deceptive. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? And see, that's the thing. They have a lot of love for you, Divine Femmes. But... They know how to mask it, not showing their true feelings. They hide it. They pretend like they don't care. You know, gaslighting you, that's a form of narcissistic behavior. But that doesn't mean that they don't love you. It's just they don't know how to show it. They don't know how to show it. They don't know how to show emotion. Because a lot of masculines are told to not show emotions. They were told it's a sign of weakness. Man up. Maybe some of these masculines don't have a man in their, or like a father figure in their life. So they don't know how to step up and be a man for you, Divine Femmes. 
Yeah, and they were abandoned. Some of these masculines are dealing with abandonment issues. Maybe they've been in and out of foster care. Maybe they've been left by a family member, a mother, a father. Maybe their parents was in the military, so they always left them alone in the house by themselves. So they have codependency issues. And it affects their relationship. They rather leave you first before they get left. And that's the thing, the unsaid, showing I love you or like, like you without physically saying it, didn't say it yet. So they have a lot of things that they have not said to you or want to say to you, but they choose not to. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and close this up. See what else. <clears throat> what advice that spirit has for you divine femmes so angel spirits and guys what advice do you have for the divine femmes on, on what do they need to surrender when it comes to divine masculines what advice and guidance do? one card spirit what advice and guidance surrender to setting limits divine femmes you gotta set healthy boundaries you got to set healthy boundaries. Know your worth. Empower yourself. Because if you don't, then your masculines are always going to give you breadcrumbs and not the whole loaf of bread. They're going to take, take, take and leave you depleted. So set some limits. Set healthy boundaries. It is healthy to set boundaries in your relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. No is a complete sentence. I don't know how that resonates for you, but it's time to set limits. You know, it's time to set healthy boundaries with the masculine because it's going to leave you depleted if you don't. And what else is going, what advice do you have for divine fans? Luck is on your side and hold your vision, divine fans. Keep envisioning what you want. Be the change you want to see, you know, I feel like if you do good, there's going to be good coming your way. Luck is on your side. You have favor. So we know that. Remember that. Remember who you are. Stand true to who you are. Stay empowered. All right, guys. Much love.